Hoy les traigo todo lo confirmado de Minecraft P 0.18.0 o 1.1 Antes de empezar con las características tengo que aclarar algo Algo que muchos se preguntan Y es ¿Por qué 0.18.0 si la actual versión es la 0.17.0 Que es una preview de la futura 1.0 beta? Sí, lo sé, estoy seguro que la versión que veremos pronto es la 1.0 beta, pero lo mismo pasó en la versión 0.9.0 y la supuesta 1.0 beta de antaño, cuando todos estábamos seguros que la 1.0 beta sería la siguiente y de pronto Tomaso nos sorprendió con una 0.10.0, por lo que es mejor prevenir antes que lamentar, y por ello si es que no hay una 1.0 beta aquí traigo un video de la futura 0.18 por si las dudas, aclarando todo lo que podría traer si es que después no hay una 1.1, y si la hay de todas formas también es válido para el 1.1 las características a exponer son las que vimos en un video que hice en la que los desarrolladores estimaron que estaría en la 0.17 pero que no vimos por lo que ellos aclararon en ese panel que estarían en la 0.17 y si no en la versión posterior a la 0.17 que bien podría ser la 0.18.0 o la 1.1 así que bien comencemos la primera característica trata de los límites de los mundos con barreras azules Well, I don't know if we are going to have limited big worlds, uh, but I think we have something called like blood borders now, that maybe someone could add, uh, like, add into their worlds, like generate a lot of and then edit it to have it with other tools. Uh, I don't think there is a plan for it in game so. Uh, I mean, also we'll port the actual PC borders at some point, uh, which is pretty, is pretty straightforward. And also I experimented with making a in-game border where the world literally ends and you just fall off and, and die. But uh, <laughs> that's... Uh, I honestly discarded that because I thought that no one would care about not having the worlds be infinite, but if, if people care, that could even be an option, actually. The burn? The problem with that is that if you use the world border and then you go to the limit and say, oh, there is like a monument on the other side, then you feel like, oh no, I want to make the world bigger. So we had, so they had to think a way to have like a big island as the world. Esta característica ya está en PC y se vería más o menos así. La segunda característica es el soporte o estantes para armaduras. How many bananas would it take for you to add armor stands? How many bananas, How many bananas would it take for you to add armor stands? Okay. Armor stands. I, I don't know what the thing that I don't know. I, I thank Mark Watson for this thing about bananas. Say a number. Uh, a Say a number. number. I I I don't know. Uh, I don't Una con la que nos dará muchas oportunidades, no solo la de su función principal, sino la de decoración. La tercera característica es la de la interfaz amigable para dropear ítems por stack. When will the items and blocks in Popular Edition Windows 10 have the ability to stack up when dropped instead of being scattered all over the floor individually? Uh, so, that was an optimization made in PC because uh, items like that were taken digitally and taking most of the time to, for taking chunks. I don't think we have that problem right now in Pocket. Uh, so, uh, I think it seems counterintuitive to have like an item flying around the ground and encountering like another item and getting absorbed into it. So I think like just flying, uh, being in digital items is okay. I don't know if we are actually planning to implement this, but I would like to rework it if it ever gets implemented. So if stuff like that doesn't happen, 
The yeah. transfer, transfer of inertia, like actual, actual physics in Minecraft. Si implementan esta opción te tomará menos de un segundo dropear ítems por stack o individual, algo que nos facilitará la vida en Minecraft Pocket Edition. La cuarta característica es la de los mejores drops. Okay, will Pocket slash Windows 10 Edition receive an upgrade to the items when dropped? I think this person is referring to the, the kind of 3D spinning animation you might get on PC or console. Uh, Jason, what do you think? Yeah, that's one of the things we're definitely thinking about doing. Um, One of the issues with it is it's, it consumes more memory and more power on your device. Um, so for the lower end phones and stuff, I don't think we'll probably ever have a 3D model on them. But for higher end, like the new iPad Pros and, and the Windows 10 version and stuff like that, I think mean, it's definitely a feasible thing for us to look into. Yeah, so it's just a performance, uh, question of performance really, where you want to put that performance. Cool. En la que los ítems que tires se verán en 3D y mejor desarrollados. La quinta característica es la de las llamas. No hicieron mención completa de ellas, pero por cómo va Pocket y el desarrollo, son mobs que se estiman estarán dentro del juego en una versión posterior a la 0.17. Esto lo explicó Jeff en una entrevista privada antes de que se realice el evento de la Minecon 2016. Y si no las vemos en esta próxima versión, lo más probable es que estén en la siguiente a la ya mencionada. O sea, la 0.19.0, y si es que no hay, entonces una 1.2. La sexta y última característica es la de los cristales de colores. Black stained glass. Tomaso, people really want stained glass. Why are you being so mean and holding holding back on these things? They need their house darker. Yeah, they want a kind of more moody ambiance in their in their house. I see. Well, I mean, uh, so we, I mean, stained glass is one of the biggest things that's missing yet, uh, still. And uh, um, the the thing with stained glass is that. If you just if you just like drop the block there, it can kind of works, but then it has glitches on how it. it um, I mean, if you put different colors of stained glass one on front of the other, they will do weird things if you don't spend a lot of processing power uh, to, to to sort them correctly. So we just were putting off the problem of uh, solving this, and uh, but we will probably do that. It's, it's misleadingly complex, but it kind of looks simple. Yeah, it's like from a, my perspective, yeah, it's just the blocks. The blocks that don't do anything, you just add them, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a massive feature, actually. Okay. Una que es probable se implementen en las builds de la 0.17, pero si no estarán, de hecho estarán en la 0.18.0 o en la 1.1 de Minecraft P. Y eso fue todo, espero les haya gustado. Déjame saber en la caja de comentarios cuáles de todas estas características es la que más te gustó y la que más esperas. Y dime por qué, ¿qué uso le darías en tu mundo? No te olvides de darle like, suscribirte para ver más contenido así, compartirlo con tus amigos para que seamos más sirbodis y conmigo será hasta la próxima. Bye bye sirbodis, cuídense mucho. Bye bye.